tracking new developments in the special counsel's federal election interference case against former President Donald Trump. Just a short time ago, a federal judge issued a limited gag order on Mr. Trump. NBC News Justice correspondent Ken Delanian joins us now from outside the courthouse in Washington, D.C. So, Ken, first, just remind us about which case this is exactly against the former president and then walk us through what happened inside the courtroom today. Sure, Zinkley. This is the Washington, D.C. case where former President Trump is facing four felony charges related to his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. It's a vast uh, conspiracy case. He's also charged uh, under similar circumstances in Georgia. But in this case in Washington, D.C., uh, he's been he's made a series of attacks on special counsel Jack Smith and people who work for him and others involved in the case. And this hearing today was to decide whether the judge should impose a limited gag order. And at the end of two hours of arguing back and forth, uh, she decided that she would do that. Um, she's prohibiting former President Trump from maligning prosecutors and court personnel. It's not clear, by the way, if she included herself on that list. We'll find out when she issues the written order. And he's also prohibited from attacking witnesses in the context of this case. Not completely, because, of course, for example, Mike Pence is a witness. He's running against Mike Pence for president. He's allowed to attack Mike Pence, just not in the context of this case. Now, uh, President Trump is denouncing this ruling and saying he will appeal it. Uh, in a statement, his lawyers called it a dagger at the heart of our democracy. And, uh, and he's out in public today. Uh, suggesting that this gags him completely and prevents him from criticizing anyone. It absolutely doesn't do that. He's still allowed to criticize the Biden administration, the Justice Department. But the judge said specifically maligning prosecutors and other personnel uh, goes too far, risks inciting violence, risks tampering with the jury, and she is prohibiting it. Think so, Ken, with all that said, how has the former president responded? Yeah, well, he's saying that this is um, a violation of his First Amendment rights, that he's the first pre presidential candidate in history who's been gagged on the campaign trail. And he's portraying this as the Biden administration trying to muzzle him. Of course, that's not accurate. Jack Smith doesn't work for the Biden administration. He, he reports he's an independent prosecutor. He reports to the attorney general. Um, but that's how Trump is playing it. Basically. All right. Ken Delanian with the latest outside the courthouse for us. Thank you so much.